The time has now come to suspend my campaign. Well, the stage is now set for a rematch between former President Donald Trump and President Joe Biden this November, as the presidential race now focuses on the two frontrunners, both of whom face multiple challenges. CNN's Michael Yoshida has the details. Former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley suspending her campaign in the race for the Republican presidential nomination. Her announcement, just one day after major Super Tuesday losses, all but ensures a Joe Biden-Donald Trump rematch in November. Haley congratulating, but not endorsing the former president. It is now up to Donald Trump to earn the votes of those in our party and beyond it who did not support him. Now the question is, who gets Haley's supporters? If you agreed with Nikki Haley when she stood up to Trump, uh, for things like election denialism or the chaos and division that he represents. Uh, there is, in fact, going to be a home for them in Joe Biden's campaign. Trump responding to Haley's withdrawal on social media, posting, Nikki Haley got trounced last night, adding he'd further like to invite all of the Haley supporters to join the greatest movement in the history of our nation. Trump has cruised through the primaries, collecting win after win. There's never been one like this. There's never been... Anything so conclusive. But there are reasons for concern. His character and extremism turning off more moderate and suburban voters, particularly those with college educations. For Biden, immigration, the economy, and his age remain vulnerabilities, as well as his response to Israel's war against Hamas, which has caused some protest votes. It raises the stakes for Thursday's State of the Union speech, where Biden will try to address his doubters and tout his administration's successes.